<laughs> Hi everyone, one, one, one. Anthony Fantano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for an album review. Civil Civic Rules. These guys are an electronic rock duo that I've been dying to hear a full-length album from ever since they dropped their first single back in 2009, I believe. Less Unless. Now, why are these guys electronic rock to me? Well, they have a lot of rock elements in their music, just really hard, driving, distorted, guitar and bass riffs everywhere. Pl plenty of melodic guitar leads, and a lot of the time, the distortion on some of these tracks just gets so massive, just turns into this wall of... <laughs> and all these really shoegazy guitar leads are all swimming through it like little baby fishies. But there's also an element of electronic music here as well. There's a lot of hard-hitting drum machines on these songs, a lot of glitchy kind of noisiness as one idea kind of transitions into another. Not to mention all the synthesizers that Civil Civic have managed to add to this album. And of course every track on this LP is instrumental. Overall these guys for me are just kind of like part man, part machine. And Civil Civic's music, a lot like the music of Radadat or Anamanaguchi, is very much about momentum. It's very much about drive, it's very much about melody, melody, and melody. That's what I've loved about everything the band has put out up until the release of this album. But the thing is, a lot of the tracks that Civil Civic put out before this LP came out are on this album. I was kind of hoping for an entire LP of completely new material, but still, I don't blame these guys for wanting to get tracks like Less on Less on vinyl. Like, like, I think putting material on here that is a year to two years old is a bit of a gamble because tracks like Less on Less have had time with me to grow on me, to establish themselves with me, to kind of just seep into my brain and become a part of my, my musical memory. So after seeing these guys put older, much older material on this album, I was kind of looking to the newer tracks on this LP to kind of show me a, a different side of Civil Civic. Just something newer, just new directions, just fresher ideas. I just want to see where this band is, is going to go next. But I didn't kind of come up from this LP finding a lot of new ideas. But that's not to say I didn't find any. One of my favorite tracks on here, Grey Nurse, starts off with these really kind of uplifting synthesizer arpeggios and then it segues into this guitar lead this guitar melody that sounds a lot like it would have come from a halloween themed spaghetti western with a little bit of a surf rock twang going on there it's one of the most interesting 10 car pileups of influences I've, I've heard on a track this year. And on the track Mayfield, Civil Civic experiments with doing a softer song, just being much more subtle. And I think it kind of works for them. The, the, the beat plus the reverb guitars on that track just like sparkle like stars in the sky and roar like thunder. Now songs like Street Trap and It's Krill have really just driving drum beats, repetitive riffs, melodic leads, and, and they really don't bring anything new to the table for me, really. They just end up kind of paling in comparison to the more established Civil Civic tracks on this LP that, that share the same qualities. Even the song Sky Delay, I like this song a lot, but the very beginning of the track, it kind of sounds like a slowed down version of Run Overdrive. <laughs> The only thing that kind of keeps that song on my really good side is that it starts in a very different place than where it finishes because Civil Civic brings that track in a really heavy, psychedelic direction. More psychedelic than they've, they've ever been. And, and, and there is an album that I just reviewed that this kind of reminds me of. That new Rusty album, Glass Swords. And the reason I feel like these two albums share some characteristics to me is that both Rusty and Civil Civic have very bold, defined, and to me kind of unforgettable styles. But both of those styles at this point right now are, are both a little kind of narrow. You know, they're, they're this kind of one set thing and neither artist really ventures too far outside of that thing. Because of that, a lot of tracks on this LP sound kind of similar 
in a way that makes a handful of songs on here less attention-grabbing. Still, I think this thing is a pretty good debut album. I'm feeling a decent to strong 7 on this album. What do you guys think of it? Does you love it? Does you hate it? Why? And what do you think I should review next? Thanks for watching. Anthony Fantano, Civil Civic.